OpenX is a free, open-source ad server that manages the selling and delivery of your online advertising inventory. You can get OpenX as a hosted service or as downloaded software to install on your own server. This video will show you how to start serving ads with OpenX Hosted. Since OpenX Hosted uses the same screens as the OpenX Download, this tutorial applies for serving ads with the downloaded version of the ad server as well. To get started with OpenX Hosted, go to the sign-up page and enter your information. Once your account is approved, you'll receive an email telling you how to log in. The first thing you'll see when you log in is the home page dashboard and the main navigation tabs at the top. To start managing your ad inventory, you'll want to begin by adding your website under the Inventory tab. The Inventory tab is where you can keep track of all of your website's ad placements. It's also where you manage your advertisers and the campaigns you're delivering for them. I'll go ahead and add my website by clicking Websites in the left-hand navigation. OpenX lets you manage ads across multiple sites, so you can add as many websites as you'd like. Once you've added your website, the next step is to create zones for each of the ad placements within your site. Zones are spaces on your website used for displaying ad content or creatives. In this example, I'm going to add a zone for a 468 by 60 banner on the top of my home page. Your website may have several places on which to display ads, in which case you will want to either add a new zone for each ad space or use one ad zone for all ad spaces that are of the same size. For example, to display a 468 by 60 banner on my finance page, I can add a new zone or use the same 468 by 60 zone that I just added for my home page. How you choose to manage your zones will depend on the organization of your websites and the demands of your advertisers. After adding your zones, you'll need to copy the ad tags corresponding to your zones to the HTML of your website. There are two ways you can do this. You can copy the tag from the Zones Invocation Code tab, or you can copy the single page call ad tag from the website by going to the website's Invocation Code tab. The single page call helps you deliver your ads faster by making a single request that is processed for all the creatives on the page rather than multiple requests that are processed sequentially. Once you have tagged your site, you are ready to create and serve your ad campaigns. Campaigns belong to individual advertisers, so you should create an advertiser before defining a campaign. You can add a new advertiser by going to Advertisers in the left-hand navigation. After you have added the advertiser, you can create a campaign belonging to that advertiser. A campaign represents a set of banner ads to be delivered over a date range according to various settings. In OpenX, there are three types of campaigns. Contract campaigns involve a target number of ad impressions or clicks to be delivered, typically over a specified date range. They represent your directly sold ad inventory. Contract campaigns always have delivery priority over remnant campaigns. You can also prioritize contract campaigns relative to one another. Exclusive contract campaigns have delivery priority over all other campaigns. They essentially represent guaranteed impressions or clicks. Remnant campaigns are low priority campaigns and typically represent inventory that you are sending to an ad network to fill. For this example, I will create a remnant campaign. After selecting the campaign type, you can set the dates you want the campaign to run and the target number of impressions or clicks in the campaign. You can also allow OpenX Market to serve ads within this campaign. OpenX Market is a place where you can make ad inventory available to advertisers who want to bid directly to show their ads on your site. Simply set a CPM-based floor price according to your campaign's existing rate and OpenX Market will serve ads in the campaign only if they pay better than your floor. This provides a risk-free way to earn higher revenues from your ad campaigns. When you have finished creating your campaign, you'll need to add the banners that belong to that campaign. A banner represents the creative content that is displayed in the place of an ad. For directly sold inventory, this is typically an image or media file sent to you by the advertiser. For remnant inventory, this is normally an ad tag generated by the ad network. In this case, I'll go ahead and paste in an ad tag from my ad network that fits the ad size that I want to fill. After your banner has been added, you can link it to the zone where you want that ad to be served. To do this, go to the banner you added and select the Linked Zones tab. You can then select the zone in which you want the banner to be delivered. Once you have linked your banner to your desired zone, you're all set and your ads will start delivering. OpenX offers a lot of additional flexibility and advanced features around the trafficking and delivery of your ads. To learn more about what you can do with OpenX, go to openx.org and visit the various sections of the website. Now that you know the basics about getting started with OpenX, Sign up for OpenX by going to the sign up page and registering for your free OpenX hosted account today.